Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Cristo and this is Man the Guns. In the last episode we designed a bunch of ships. We initiated a border war which we are going to lose. Um, I mean, you guys just, just rejoin. Rejoin the fight. I don't know why they get to cycle in and out men and I don't. But here we go. We lose. Boo. Humbug. Renewal of the Rome Protocols. Ooh, Austria, Hungary and Italy have renewed the Rome Protocols. And yeah, we're defeated. We gained some army experience though. So there's that. Next up, we're going to mobilize the economy to war economy, brothers, which is going to give us more civvy factories to use for building stuff. really don't feel like I need this fuel depot anymore. <laughs> we will in the long run, though. What resources are we actually going to get out of, uh, out of China? Yeah, that's right. There's so much steel in the south, I remember. Really looking forward to getting my hands on some of that steel. All right, our... Uh, Carrier naval bombers, we could upgrade again. But I think that's okay. We'll save the XP. So we're just grinding uh, army XP against the Germans. We are ensuring that the non focus treed Hitler manages to win, which should give us a potential fascist ally, but a relatively passive one in, uh, in Europe, <clears throat> which I'm not opposed to. I think. Uh, it's kind of a weird outcome to have the civil war and then, you know, the Nazis win. But, uh, you know, it's perfectly plausible that's how it could have happened. It doesn't really matter either way. This is going to be a costly fight. Yeah, it's going to be a costly fight. Let's just not engage in it. Oh, yeah, good. Let's engage in it when the Germans are already doing it to take the brunt of the casualties. Perfect. We have another national decision available. Is it time for another guide? No. That's for another while. The operation has ended. Oh, we could do more building slots, but that's not really what I'm worried about. We could cheat on the naval treaties, but I think I need a... Uh, I think I want to pick a ship designer. Is the next thing I really want. Might as well strike out into Kiel. I think a ship designer is going to be really good. Which one are we going to get? It's a good question. There's a battle fleet designer, Pacific fleet designer, coastal fleet des defense designer, or an escort fleet designer. Cheap, really good screens, but more expensive. Less armoured carriers, but much more deck size. And everyone with more range, I think, is probably going to be the correct choice. Although this uh, battle fleet designer with more armour, more heavy attack, and more torpedo attack seems pretty cool. I think we're going to go with the Pacific fleet designer. This uh, this naval war will be won in the skies above our, our, our fleets, I suspect. So we will uh, we'll focus on that. Uh, how is my training going? Hmm, it's ongoing. You guys can deploy to Kyushu when you're done. <clears throat> Could use uh, some allied man, some uh, puppet manpower. I don't think we need to. Ooh, there goes the Spanish Civil War. We should probably send men to that as well, honestly, in order to uh, gain more more army XP. We can send some of the uh, the shamed guys here who lost their way. How many can I send? Probably four, right? Who will we help? Uh, I think a more fascist Europe benefits us. So I will send them. Let's help to the fascists. You guys uh, are going to be... Let's move into this army. And then under here. Good. You guys are going to be the breakthrough force. You're going to start here. And you're going to crush your way down here. Good. Might have supply issues, but that's fine. We can we can build some new infrastructure in preparation for our war with uh, with China, if necessary. These guys are, of course, fuel users. I think I'm going to stop. It's time to start trying to build up my uh, fuel reserves again. So let's stop using fuel. Navy is still using a bit. Why is this? Ah, oh, you guys didn't stop exercising. Please stop. Okay, it'll take us... God, more than five years to get full-on fuel. So we definitely need to import some. I think the Soviets make sense to import from. That should do us in one year and a bit. One more then. Goodness, this is using up so many of my civilian factories. All right, we've got maxed out industry now in one area. Maybe a synthetic refinery wouldn't go amiss. God, but it only gives us 50 50. 
Oh no, okay, total fuel gain goes up by 10, it looks like. I'm not sure. Give me some synthetic refineries. I'm so, I'm just, I mean, this is obviously what I expected when I decided to play Japan, but I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I need, desperately, desperately, desperately need fuel. No wonder we need to go to war with, uh, with the UK. Steal their, uh, steal the fuel down here in uh, Dutch East Indies and Malacca and all that good stuff. There's quite a bit of fuel here. Not not a huge amount compared to like the reserves that can be found in um, in some places, but not like Texas, but still pretty good. Give us a good general. And oh, there goes Ethiopia. And a good field marshal. Give us some help here. I think it's worth doing these, taking the time to uh, to send volunteers, just so that we can uh, get the army XP. It's very valuable. Getting these templates done before we actually have to start the war. Right, these 40 wits are gonna... Ah, oh, right, yeah, and we need some artillery, I forgot. So we don't want that. There we go. All right, done on the 40 wits. Let's get some of them trained, actually. Uh, and these need to be smaller. Do I even want to use the motorized divisions? I'm not sure I do. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm very curious what the heck's going to happen in uh, in Europe with this whole um, um, Germany not having a focus tree thing. Like, how's World War II going to start? Maybe with me declaring. It's, it's very, very plausible that World War II could be begun by a Japanese declaration on... Uh, on the Netherlands. Or if the Netherlands joins Germany, um, I might declare war on uh, on the Netherlands and become at war with Germany. Which would kind of be excellent, because it would allow me to secure the, <clears throat> the resources of the Dutch East Indies without having to fight a serious naval battle. Apart from anything else, the Germans, even the fleet that they start with is already at half strength, because they, uh, they just lost a bunch of it to their civil war. So... I think that's uh, all in all. The civil war is gonna plus the fact that yeah, if they do go with them, plus the Dutch is maybe they declare independence and the Netherlands go um, go fascist. It's it's entirely possible. All right, so we're gonna go straight with the Pacific fleet designer. Get that ten percent naval research because there's so much to research navally. Or mm, no, yeah, there's there's no argument again, in my opinion, really against getting silent workhorse first. We need the long term political power gain. You know, it's not going to be a short series. We're going to have to fight many wars against many great powers across many oceans. So it makes sense for us to make the long play and invest in the silent workhorse. He pays off in like uh, 450 days, I think, something like that. Well, hey, go on, why not? Let's run the maths. He gives 0.15 extra political power a day. No, point three. He gives plus fifteen percent on a base of two. So yeah, he gives point three a day. So what's uh, one fifty divided by point three? Yeah, five hundred days he pays off in. I really could have done that in my head, but he, he pays off in five hundred days. That's pretty good, honestly. It's not bad at all. Still just producing outdated ships. That's fine. Resources still looking fine. Oil on the way back up. Oh, oh, the naval exercises were so expensive and then I wasted some of them on the damn light cruisers. It's heartbreaking. But we've mobilized the economy, which helps fuel production. No? No, just being demobilized da damages fuel production. Okay. Ooh, I could go straight for that. No, 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 no. We have to go against China soon. But I need the extra research slot. Research slot, then China war. Then we can worry about uh, what kind of policies we're going to do. We may end up doing a very late war against um, against the Allies. We'll see how the world situation develops, uh, how we want to to throw our our weight around and and see what happens. Because I kind of want war in Europe to be in full swing before we get involved, because that would mean we uh, <coughs> excuse me we can attack while the British fleets are hopefully out of position, you know, focusing more on containing Germany or even Dutch aggression. <laughs>
rather than positioned ready for our glorious lightning strike in the east. We'll see. We will see. I'm tempted to activate this battle plan, but uh, I know I shouldn't. So we'll take unnecessary casualties. Okay, we've got uh, 100 army XP. 100, sorry, 100 command power. We should definitely do something with it. Don't need a mine layer trait. Although, actually, what which trait is it that allows you to gain the mine layer one? Blockade runner. Okay, let's get a... Uh, are any of you mine layers? Let's relay... Let's rename the existing mine laying class. It was a destroyer, right? No, there was a... It was a screen? One of you guys had mine laying rails. Yeah. The Kuma Nagara class. Do we have any of those? There we go. The Kuma Nagara. Okay, so just you alone. Go into a new fleet. Uh, new, new. That's not what I meant to do. Um, you guys go back here. Shouldn't, didn't I send you to one of these guys? Yeah, you should be merging into there. Now you, the Kumanagara, where are you? Kumanagara, new task force. You are the mining task force. So you'll get that symbol. Seems, seems good for miners. Color for miners, maybe black. Sure, you should f use fleet color, sure. And you are gonna get a general with blockade runner. Ah, don't have any more with Blockade Runner. That's very unfortunate. I only have one with Blockade Runner, it looks like. Well, that kind of ruins things. Um, I need to be able to retreat easily. Let's just give him someone bad. Because we don't really need a... Uh, a good general really shouldn't be uh, concerning themselves with mine laying. And then this fleet's going to be involved in mine laying down here in Malacca. <clears throat> cool. Well, never mind. That doesn't actually solve my problem because I wanted to be able to assign traits. Don't want mine layer and mine sweeper on you. Don't want any of those. Uh, I guess we'll turn to the the uh, army then. Don't want gorilla fighter. It's like I have nothing to assign. How about the invader? What could he do with? Skirmisher? Maybe. <clears throat> Damage reduction against Cass? No, because we want to be supporting our naval invasions with Cass, so we don't want to weaken them in that regard. You got anything? You got anything? Okay, you got, well, nothing I really want to give him. I do like Charismatic on my, uh, my field marshals. Let's give them both Charismatic. That'll hold it off for a little while. Cool. Perfecto. Try these guys out. Get Münster back under the rightful German government's control. Fantastic. You should be support attacking. Some other sign, guys. Ooh, a 40 wits are done. How's supply over here, by the way? What did I put supply on? No, those are the wrong way around. I'm so used to hitting uh, F4 for supply. Uh, close this. Close this. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that feels much more intuitive. Okay, we are slightly oversupply here. So what I'll do is I'll reduce the size of the force deployed against the north. And I will do this to separate out some of those. And then the 40 widths. I think uh, we could draw some enemy fire by launching a serious naval invasion here. And then just holding some mountain tiles with really good divisions. So let's do something like that. And then just hold this area. And they'll come and garrison here, 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 and here to stop us. And we don't need to expand. It'll just weaken them. You are overstacked now. So I suppose... Um... I suppose we just take out some of these bad divisions. And what? Send them down here? Yeah. Unless we want to start having two armies ready for the big push in the north. Because it is going to be a big 
a big drive down here. But that's fine for now. Some lighter def defensive divisions, like one to stay in the port, for example. Doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world. You really ought to be in port right now. Is there a return to port button? Uh, go, uh, go home, my dudes. <laughs> Can I uh, select all? Yeah, just go home. You guys, select all. Go home. Have they just been using fuel this whole time? Or maybe they don't. I don't know if they use fuel when they're stationary. <laughs> I hope they don't. <laughs> and you, the mine layer. Oh, I'll go to Osaka. Let's see, am I gaining fuel faster than I was before? No, it looks like you can have ships stationary without using fuel. Okay, that's good to know. Alright. More army XP for the taking. Mechanical computing and concentrated industry. Good day to be us. <clears throat> We're about to finish... Type 1 Mortar. Better director fire, we definitely are going to want, but I think it's time for, for industry tech, so let's hold off on picking any new technology for a little while. While we just uh, let it accrue, we want to take the smallest ahead of time penalty that we can. Of course. So, yeah, I'm very curious. Place your bets in the comments. What's going to trigger World War II? Because I don't think... I mean, I, I know I say maybe it's going to be me. I don't think it's going to be me. Because I don't think I'm going to want to trigger it early. I think I'm going to want to just industrialize China and build up synthetic refineries and things. But maybe that won't be, uh, won't be an option. If we're only going to get two steel deficit, I think I'll, I'll tank that. I mean, yeah, I, I really, really don't know. I'm placing my bet now... I bet it's going to be Italy declaring war on Yugoslavia that's going to trigger it. That's my uh, that's my guess. But it could be Hungary or Romania. You know, all these people, and or Poland for that matter. Although I don't think Poland actually gets war goals from their fascist side. No, they just have accommodation with Germany. They don't have uh, an actual kind of strike strike at the enemy kind of focus so i don't think it'll be them it might be czechoslovakia going against who do they go against <laughs> i really don't know yeah poland or hungary that'd be interesting I'd be curious yeah czechoslovakia starting world war ii has a certain irony to it i think <laughs> all right yeah, it's coming down good well, we got a very nice amount of army experience out of this conflict. Uh, is there anything else I want to put on the 40s? Yeah, we should definitely have support artillery in the 40s. Should have done that earlier. It's now my uh, my deployed 40s are going to be uh, weakened. You guys, it's trained so none of you are uh, are green. I don't want any green troops in my army. It's unacceptable. You too. And you. It's because we shrunk the size of these guys, so they're uh, they're operating in formations they're not quite used to. They weren't originally designed to to, to operate in. Okay, driving them back here. Nice. Good. Mustn't forget that I need to uh, use these tech slots, but I want to use them at the last moment. I'm going to use them at the last moment. They use. Uh, Far less resources. Free dockyards. Interesting. So, what do we want to start producing? What, are, what What's our navy like? Our composite. We've got five carriers, nine heavy ships. Oh, did we just finish the second carrier? Yeah, we may well have done. Why do you refuse to merge with my goddamn battle group? Merge and stay merged. <clears throat> I don't understand. Repairing 100%. What? Oh, one of them got damaged, so it just shows the whole thing is repairing. Okay. So, dockyards wise, <clears throat> we have too few destroyers, I think. I think we could do with some more screen destroyers. Because destroyers, they, they melt in combat. They, they just they die. <laughs> and they die a lot. Um, so, let's start building some of these. Sorry about the noise. 
Was there something else I wanted to put on these before I brought them into service? I mean, better anti-air would be nice, but... And these are screen destroyers. So they should have more torpedo launchers, not to, uh, not anti-sub stuff. We have different anti-sub warfare destroyers. That's fine. So, uh, you guys do me a little exercise. I just need 0.5 more. Excuse me. E exercise. Ah, they're repairing. Thought I was just bugging out, but no, they are, uh, they are busy right now. We get enough already. Good. You guys can now stop exercising. Go back to your respective ports. God, they had a quite a few. Oh, God, they took 100 damage from training. <laughs> wow. What did you do? I guess just random engine fires and things could eventually cause serious problems. Um, okay, so the screen, we want more torpedo launchers. Good. So start building some of these. <clears throat> they can go I guess into the reserve I, I kind of yeah see that's interesting I don't want them to go into reserve because they're uh, you know they're vital they're uh, they're the better ones I kind of want I want to be deploying them immediately to where they're uh, where they're most needed which is obviously in the task forces but we'll see how that works for now now, researchers, two more days. Let's not miss that. And I'm amazed that the, the German military junta really is not giving in. I feel like a military coup is the kind of thing that would give up quite quickly. Because it, if, it if it found it didn't have enough popular support or, uh, you know, the arms necessary to actually carry it out. Anyway. Let's get these done. Oh, these fuel game for refineries are strong. But we want to do that preferably with the focus bonus, helping us research it even faster. We could cheat on the treaties. All oh, right, it's time to prioritize. So we're currently still prioritizing steel for ships. I, I think we'll continue doing that until we pick something else, which gives... What does that give while active? Can I see it here? I think it's like... Uh, yeah, Navy strengthened... It's giving minus 5% factory output plus 5% dockyard output. So we could bring it back towards parity by now doing a uh, something else. But I kind of just want to keep going with, uh, with things like this. See, that one's kind of good. L lower dockyard speed, more dockyard output. It does give us navy dominant. Which is pretty bad for planning speed. Yeah, we should stay a bit balanced, I think. Let's go, uh... I don't want more reputable population, though, because that will be that will be temporary. Or maybe it doesn't replace this. Yeah, you know what? Let's learn. It doesn't replace it. Okay, that's powerful. 2% more uh, reputable pop right there. It's going to be very helpful later on in the game when we have the industry to actually uh, support it. I'd rather we didn't take Stugo next, actually. Let's, let's see if we can wipe out every last one of these guys. First, seems good to me. Uh, how much is that one steel hurting this production? 2.5%. I think that's okay, honestly. I think that's an acceptable, an acceptable loss. Oh, I'm down a factory on it, though. Mm, which means now we're going to be more than two steel down. Yeah, in which case I will grab some extra imports. I don't want to be, uh... Don't want to be too far down. Alright. More things to do with our army XP. Uh... We do need 20 wits. So I guess I will... Build those. This is the... 20s. They can have some support artillery. Uh, what else? We will need some military police. I'm hoping that we won't need military police really for uh, China because we're going to kind of cruise through them but you know that's what Japan thought in real life too <laughs> and it didn't really work out that way <laughs> so uh, maybe we should plan for the worst even as we hope for the best alright there's my extra research slot 
Oh, an excavation one. Nice. Again, I'll wait and do a, a re head of time research. Like fuel, maybe. National research policy. Yay, five research slots. Nice. Next focus. Oh, we can't do this yet. Because it requires nationalized industry first. Okay, good to know. Well, we'll do the Lisbon conference. We'll create the faction. We will uh, do the Marco Polo Bridge incident. Unfulfilled import requests. Steal from Manchuria. Manchuria? What are you doing? Has Manchuria just changed their... Uh, their export law by any chance? Well, it's not an export focus. Hmm. I wonder. We could also... Uh, isn't there a focus to help Manchuria? Does that give them more steel? It adds infrastructure, which might give them more steel. Hmm. Well, this is expand... It says expand the such and such steel works, but I don't know if it actually... <laughs> it's funny. I don't know if it actually increases the steel works. Soviets are really keen on putting all their troops on my border right now. I'm, I'll try not to be offended. All right, there goes the German military junta. Our guys are on their way home. Interesting times. The games of the Olympiad <laughs> held shortly after the end of the Civil War in what I have to assume is a, uh, a slightly less grand fashion than historically, given that uh, people were a little busy. <laughs> Just a little busy with, uh, you know, the whole fighting for the future of their nation thing. All right, well, with Germany's focus tree eliminated, <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.